When evaluating the parenchyma on an unenhanced CT scan, looking for shift of normally midline structures can be a clue to detecting the presence and severity of injury and disease. I want to talk about five midline structures that, if moved from their position, may be a clue to the presence and severity of injury or disease. Starting from the top, the falx cerebri is a structure formed by the invagination of the dura mater into the longitudinal fissure between the cerebral hemispheres. It is often calcified and easy to identify. Parenchymal midline shift, as evident by displacement of the falx, may represent impending transfalcine herniation. The septum pellucidum is a thin membrane located at the midline of the brain between the two cerebral hemispheres and is the second most useful midline structure to identify parenchymal shift. Heading caudally, the third ventricle is a single midline structure that is typically seen at, in the same cut as the calcified pineal gland, which is the fourth midline structure used to identify parenchymal shift. And finally, the most inferior midline structure is the fourth ventricle. Traumatically, not much happens in the posterior fossa as well as it is well protected. If there is injury there, the trauma must have been quite substantial. From top to bottom, the falx, septum pellucidum, third ventricle, pineal, and fourth ventricle are midline structures that, if displaced from the midline, may represent severe injury or disease. Thank you.